That was really good for a first try, but you know, I never let you off the hook with just one, so let's try that one more time. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. My name is Christopher Boyer. I am one of the past presidents of the Lake Oswego Chamber of Commerce, and it's my great fortune to be your MC today, where I welcome you to the Lake Oswego Chamber of Commerce's Friday morning networking, where we connect your faces to our local business places, and... How many of you have been here at Studio B Photography before? Raise your hands. That's a, that's a fair number of people. Even the, even the owner's been here before. Uh, how many of you, this is your first time here? Nice, well welcome. And again, welcome to our networking. Today I'd like you to put your hands together for Mr. Brian Garretts, the owner of Studio B Photography. And soon to be slightly renamed you get to hear today so uh, first uh, I, uh, I I don't know how many people have ever been bored enough to look on my about page online but uh, there's a skinny version of it right here but that is also online and um, but it's um, pretty much uh, without the details a story of somebody literally giving life to the phrase art saves lives because about 44 years ago I put that to the test and my camera is the reason I'm here. I absolutely love photography. I grew up in a dark, I'm going to say this quicker because my wife says it sounds like I need counseling, a dark room. I grew up in a dark room with black and white chemicals and every sandwich tasting like Dectol and D76. And, um, that kept my GPA out of the toilet and my head where it belonged. <laughs> and so uh, when I was about 19, 18, I found a mentor. Uh, he owned a studio in Pendleton where I was uh, growing up. And um, he took me under his wing. Uh, I went in to have him critique my scenic work that you see in here. Uh, the paintings, uh, uh, if you don't mind, if you step away from them just a bit, those paintings are uh, those of Graham Salisbury in the other room. Um, he is the, my studio mate and painter, um, but, uh, but anyway, my, my mentor um, was about 70, I was 18, and he saw something in me that I did not, and told me that I needed to learn portrait photography, which as a recluse at the time, like, no, no way, I, I do nature, I don't do people. Um, a few awards later, I believe him, um, but he saw something in me that I didn't see, and so he taught me how to mix light, how to put people in my scenics, and that's what really got me to evolve into what became, in 1996, Prince Charming Photography and Framing. My goal was to sell my scenic art and get out of portraits as quick as I could. <laughs> and now 75% of my day is on headshots and uh, product photography, 360, which I absolutely love both. I will not give up either one of them. So I had to evolve that name into something that was uh, more defining of the mix of what I do. Uh, I didn't like having a, you know, I, I created it uh, during COVID I created a art gallery online, um, building a website for Graham uh, to start with because uh, he, he didn't see the value of his work um, like I did. And so I offered to sell them for him. And um, uh, while being in service to him, I realized that I was fulfilling my original dream of having a gallery to represent other people because uh, just you know, I just had conversations this morning with people that uh, do photography on the side and never market. And, and I love that aspect of it. And so, um, so I'm, as of yesterday, um, I have, um, I will be dropping the double infinity label. I'll keep it up through our art walk. Don't cringe, ha, I knew that was coming. <laughs> because I didn't tell her about this, but, uh, but it will be Studio B Photography and Gallery so that I can simplify my marketing. You'll go to my, my splash page, we'll have studio or gallery, and it will take you to either brand. And the only difference is there are no people in the gallery. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, I uh, absolutely love uh, sharing this space with a fellow creative. Uh, we feed off of each other. We travel together for reference photos. A lot of these images were from a 3,800 mile road trip that we did. 
Uh, my wife, Kathy, who is here for the first time today as a green knot, um, she um, has made it possible for me to live this dream because 2008 and nine, if anybody in the finance industry can recall, uh, was not a great experience. It caused me to really evolve and think about what it was I wanted to do. So when the pandemic hit, I was ready for it. I was like, oh, I've been asking for more time. I just got it. <laughs> and so it gave me a chance to really define what it is that I wanted to be doing. And I would not have achieved it. I'm getting verklempt. <laughs> I could not have done it without my partner. So. Right on. How awesome is that? 